Hello everyone! My name is Sabrina Melodieuse. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is very special and it is about the Crazy Puppy Challenge. Yes! And that is uh, hosted by the Crazy Puppy Lady. Hello Angela! Yes, I'm finally doing the video. I promised to do that a long, long time ago. And the time is running away with me. The video is not done, but it is now. I am doing it finally. There you go, Angela. It is very special. It is about uh, the red puppy, which um, is very significant for the Royal British Legion. And I know that this is very close to Angela's heart which is why she named her channel the Crazy Puppy Lady because she makes so many red puppies she has done a few thousand now and donated them all to the Royal British Legion they sell these little red puppies for a few pounds each and that money is given straight to the Royal British Legion uh, for the uh, veterans so for the soldiers who have been to World War I, World War II, and other battles, of course, because it's very important that we remember them, that we do not forget, and that we are taking care of our current veterans. Isn't it an important thing? So the red poppy is very significant to uh, the Royal British Legion, in France, we have also our intake on that, but we don't use the red poppy. We use a flower called the bluey, and it is essentially a blue corn flower, which is exquisite. And because the red, uh, the, the red, no, because the French flag is uh, a tree color, which means three colors, then so is our bluey. We have three colors into our beautiful cornflower. Blue is the main color, but there are another two colors which are also important. Um, but this is not about the French uh, for you know legion. This is about the Royal British Legion. So. Uh, the challenge is if anyone on the planet could make a red puppy, that would be great. Now, Angela, the crazy puppy lady, has a tutorial on YouTube where you will learn how to make the red puppy. And I will link the tutorial in the uh, description box below. In addition to that, she also has a free Ravelry download on how to make uh, the um, red puppy. I'm sorry, my words are going elsewhere just now. <laughs> it is a free download. So even if you don't partake in the challenge, you know, it does no harm to go over her Ravelry uh, shop and download her pattern. I will link this in the description box below, of course. I myself, out of her tutorial, I have made this waistcoat, if you want to call it that. I think it is a waistcoat. As you can see, I am wearing my red puppies with pride. So I will stand and I will show you my uh, waistcoat. <laughs> there it is. I've had so much fun making this. And I made this last year. So I will be wearing it uh, to work for the next month. Honestly, these flowers are so quick to make and so much fun too. So, uh, if you are going to partake in this fantastic challenge to make a poppy, and if you can uh, donate them to the Royal British Legion, I know that there are some a little bit all over the world, 
But even if you don't do that, just to actually make the poppy is very uh, encouraging and just a nice thing to do. Just, just a one. Just, just a one. <laughs> And I know that it would make Angela's heart sing. Uh, so uh, let's encourage the um, uh, puppy challenge, the red puppy challenge. And let's give our support to Angela and the Royal British Legion. Also, I wanted to mention, because this is very important, that normally these red puppies are sold I think, if I'm wrong, please, Angela, correct me, but I think it's from mid-October to about, um, around about the 11th of November. And, and why that is, is because the 11th of November is a very significant date. This is about Remembrance Day, to remember and to not forget that you know those two that who have passed we need to remember them and also why you know they were very courageous to fight for us and we must never forget that uh, our fantastic veterans they need to be remembered so remembrance day on the 11th of november the uk uh, uh, is at a standstill at 11 o'clock for two minutes, for a two minute silence period, which I think is really, really important and very significant. And of course, I will partake in that, um, as well as the whole of the UK and all the other uh, countries in the world where they have Royal British Legion. I know Australia will for sure. Uh, but there are other countries too where they have the British Legion over there. So, uh, so it is really an important thing, and I really wanted to do this for Angela. I hope I have done this justice to you. And I want to remember, uh, remind everyone that I will link the tutorial in the description box below, as well as the free Ravelry download for the red puppy um, to make. It's free, so go and grab it. I'll show you up close. You see, this is the red puppy. It is very beautiful and it is very simple to make. With a leaf, of course. It is really, really nice. There's a hair right here. <laughs> yes, it is a really um, significant thing to do. And, and let's not uh, forget about the French Foreign Legion as well and the French um, Army, where we have our Bluey, which is a really, really beautiful flower. But right now, Let's celebrate the uh, red puppy challenge with Angela, the crazy puppy lady. Oh, and I will link her channel in the, the description box below. So please check her out and her tutorial and her pattern. Free download. Remember that. <laughs> okay, so um, I just wanted to do a quick video and uh, there we are. Um, and so yeah, <laughs> Let, let's stop with the um, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> so okay, um, I'm doing it again. Oh well, thank you everyone for watching. I uh, am looking forward to finding out how many of you people will take part in making one little red puppy and if you don't donate it that's okay but just to make it that is really fun so thank you everyone for watching and until the next time happy knitting and crochet everyone